So I was watching the news, and there was a another democratic uprising, a revolution in Bahrain now. There was a video of a few protesters. There's probably about like four or five on the street, just kind of enjoying themselves, and then um, you hear shots from the military and then uh, the video after the shots stop the video pans back and uh, puts the view on the street and there's a a dead person there with uh, blood running from his head um, I found that quite disgusting and uh, we will fight hard to keep whatever we want um, we will fight to stop ourselves from losing something. And that's what's happening in those countries is that the governments are fighting hard to not lose their power. And it's kind of sick. So this democratic uprising between or within the middle Middle East, it's a beneficial thing in one way, where now it's not a dictatorship and it's not it's not going to be as corrupt, but there is still going to be corruption within a democracy. There's always corruption with power. Um, so, I mean, it's a step, but dem dem democracy is not a solution. Um, all governments are still limited by money. Uh, just a few minutes after that, there was a, another headline saying, uh, U.S. cuts $60 billion. So, what happened was Congress um, was trying to find ways to cut their expenses. Um, they decided to cut the Environmental Protection Agency's um, resources, so they cut uh, money going into the Environmental Protection Agency. And uh, as well, they cut from nutrition to newborns and pregnant mothers. So like there's a program, I guess, there that um, supports uh, advising mothers on nutrition who are pregnant and advising mothers who have newborns and so they cut funding to that program what's interesting is that you didn't hear or that they didn't report whether or not war the spending for war is being cut i mean isn't that kind of obvious to cut one supports life, the Environmental Protection Agency, and the program for um, nutrition for mothers and newborns versus war. I mean, there's obviously one supports life, one does not. And why would you cut the one that supports life? It's because of power. It's because they're still trying to hold on dearly to their power, which is their weapons. So that, that was in the news, and I, I don't know, still, yeah, democracies, um, America being a democracy, still affected by money. Um, so the solution to this is an equal money system. Yes, the democracy, democratic revolution, uprising within the Middle East is going to assist, but it's not the solution. But yeah, it's just going to end up, again, affected by money. So, support an equal money system. Um, be one vote for an equal money system, an equal life. I am one vote for equal life in an equal money system. All other ways right now 
are still affected by money. And when money is a limiting factor, the lack of it um, creates a lack of quality of life. So again, support an equal money system.